Oh hi! You're just in time. Unless of course you're somehow watching this video after Christmas, in which case you're really, really early. Because today we're going to be reacting to awful life hack channels making awful Christmas sweaters. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Now, I've actually done this kind of life hack DIY video on my channel two times before, and from what I remember, I nailed both videos. Get black paper. I forgot to buy black paper. I'm not trying that. I'm not trying this one. I'm not trying that one either. Nothing in this video is worth trying. I mean, I could be remembering wrong, but you know what? Third time's a charm. Today, we're getting our DIY fix from Blossom. Just Blossom. I don't know either, but they have 11 million subscribers. Now, if you're hoping that Blossom is somehow less of a dumpster fire than Trim Trim or 5 Minute Crafts, then why were you hoping? Like, what led you to believe? It's not. But clearly, that's not enough to stop me. So I'm about to DIY all five of their ugly Christmas sweater life hacks. So for this first sweater, I'm supposed to record footage of my fireplace. What this has to do with the sweater, I don't really know. But the thing is, I don't really know a lot of things. Like, how do you turn my fireplace on? I'm just gonna go ahead and download stock footage of a fireplace. Okay, so now we're supposed to iron on a fireplace. I'm 90% sure I see where this sweater is going, and I'm 110% sure I don't like it. Either way, I won't be using an iron. It's not because I don't know how to use an iron. I mean, I have one. I just don't have an ironing board. I also don't know how to use an iron. It's just not why I'm not using it. But never fear, sticker paper is here. Okay, so next we're supposed to be making a pocket on the back and sliding the iPad in there. I have the felt right here, so we're just going to glue this on. Oh. So the issue with my iPad is it's kind of large, like much larger than these felt squares. I think I'm just gonna use my phone. Okay, so this is the fireplace sweater. The good news is I was able to find a 10 hour loop of fireplace footage, so it's not gonna run out. The bad news is my phone battery is on more of a 10 minute loop, so I can quite literally feel it dying. If I need to make an emergency call, do I reach all the way into my sweater to remove my phone, or do I just call the police through the fireplace? Overall, I don't hate this, and I definitely don't love this, but most importantly, I feel like this sweater should come with safety instructions. So we've done the fireplace, now we're on to the snowman. The issue is, I have no idea what a cotton round is. I looked on Amazon and they didn't have cotton rounds. Either these things don't exist or I was simply not meant to find them. But I had a brilliant idea. Why use 500 cotton rounds to construct a snowman when you can just use your brain? No, I'm just kidding. If I was using my brain, I wouldn't be making these sweaters. But instead of cotton rounds, we're just gonna go with large scale styrofoam rounds, or as we like to call them in the industry, styrofoam plates. Maybe you've heard of them. I'm not in any industry. I'm gluing paper plates onto a sweater. So we're supposed to cut these snowman decorations from this felt that I purchased. It came in a pack of 42, which is great because I only needed three. So thank you for that. I love purchasing things I don't need. We're going to give the snowman a couple of buttons grafted directly onto his skin and crafted from the same material as his eyes. Who knew Coraline was a Christmas movie? Is it just me or does that look more like a Halloween sweater than a Christmas sweater? I guess the important part is either way, it looks truly awful. And that's why I'm ecstatic to have created an even worse version of it. Simply put, the vibes are kind of off with this sweater. I don't like it for some reason, but I can't really put my finger on it. Granted, if I did put my finger on this sweater at all, it would probably fall apart anyway, so. So next up is the Santa. As you can see, our sweater making adventures are getting a bit more aggressive. As the first step in this one is apparently cutting it clean in half. So now that we're done with that, we're supposed to be adding fur trim. My question is, in what universe would I have fur trim lying around? What would I even type on Amazon to find white fur trim? Well, probably just the words white fur trim now that I'm thinking about it. But I wasn't thinking about it when I ordered this stuff, so. Instead, we'll be lining our Santa sweater with Silver garland. Who cares if it's gonna shed tinsel all over the floor? 
It's more festive. I'm gonna be finding pieces of this in my carpet for the next 12 years. I'm not very confident in my ability to glue garland onto a sweater. It's not a self-confidence issue. This is more along the lines of under no circumstances was garland ever meant to be glued onto a sweater. But hey, if fabric glue can't hold garland, you can always just wear a normal sweater. But to make up for my lack of garland experience, I purchased 100 feet, which now that I see it in person, is definitely way too much. So next we're supposed to paint these golden polka dots all over the sweater with a cork. I have the golden paint as well as the cork. Now all I need is the will to continue. So having opened this paint, I'm getting the vibe that it was not intended to be used indoors. Since I have no intention of going outdoors, I think I'm just gonna bring it down from polka dots to a polka dot, singular. Okay, well now it's asymmetrical, I have to do two. So the placement of these polka dots is something I'm definitely reconsidering, but seeing as they're already on there, I'll just go ahead and tie on this giant Santa belt, which apparently I was expected to already own. And here is the Santa sweater. The pros of the sweater are that it matches my pants and it can easily be mistaken for irony. On the other hand, the only con is that we don't have enough time to discuss all of the cons. So it looks like I have yet another use for the 100 feet of garland I purchased. Glad I can make a dent in that. Now there's only like 93 feet. Now I know we just did a snowman sweater, but this one is the snowman 2.0. This one is risque. I mean, did you see how low I cut that collar? I don't really feel like cutting and gluing this many circles for the mouth, so I'm not going to do that. We're just gonna pretend I found a very long piece of coal. You know what? Let's just do the last sweater. Okay, so we're supposed to be gluing on garland and ornaments. Gluing Christmas ornaments onto a sweater, after which they can never be used on a Christmas tree ever again, seems just a little... I don't want to say blasphemous, so I think I'm going to skip the ornaments for now and just stick with this leftover silver garland instead. Did I mention I purchased 100 feet? Now, I had a bit of an issue with this next step. Not only do I have absolutely no idea where to purchase an embroidery hoop, I have even fewer ideas on where to purchase an embroidery hoop large enough to fit around a grown man's waist. So instead of that, I ordered an adjustable children's hula hoop which for some reason came in a pack of four. Wait a minute, watch that again. The sweater lights up, it has blinking Christmas lights. Where was that in the instructions? I follow their instructions. I do all this work to make the ugliest sweater I've ever seen. The second ugliest, the third, one of the ugliest sweaters I've ever seen. And they just throw it in my face like, hmm, that's nice, but does yours light up? Didn't think so. No, it doesn't, because I did what you told me to. I guess I'm just gonna have to be a lightless, lifeless Christmas tree. Here I am, I'm a Christmas tree without any lights, because I've been misled. Who would wear something like this outside of their home? Besides me, I love drawing attention to myself at all times. Anyway, this was the last one. Well, now that I'm done acquiring things I didn't really want, and after this time of year will serve no purpose to me, I'm really in the Christmas spirit. So I thought it might be nice to have ourselves a little fireside chat. Just pretend I'm sitting next to the fireplace and I figured out how to turn it on. This is my last video for the year, and I really appreciate how far I've come on YouTube in 2019. So there's really just one thing I want to say to everyone watching from the bottom of my heart. Looks like I've gotten some minutes of content out of this, so leave a like to what you think and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and a big thank you to my 245,000 subscribers. Okay, bye. There is tinsel all over.
over my floor.